What is Greywack? Greywack is a type of sandstone that is typically gray or dark in color and composed of a mixture of mineral grains, such as quartz, feldspar, and mica, as well as small fragments of other rocks and minerals. It is a common type of sedimentary rock that forms in deep marine environments, such as offshore basins and submarine fans, where sediment is rapidly deposited and compacted under the weight of overlying layers. The term greywack was first used in the early 19th century by geologists to describe a type of sandstone that was found in the Greywack Mountains of Scotland. Since then, the term has been widely used to describe similar rocks found in other parts of the world. Greywack is often distinguished from other types of sandstone by its high percentage of angular grains and rock fragments, which are often poorly sorted and cemented together by a fine-grained matrix of clay or other minerals. Greywack can be found in a variety of settings, including mountain ranges, river valleys, and coastal regions. It is a durable rock that is resistant to weathering and erosion, making it a common building material for construction and landscaping. It is also a popular material for use in decorative applications, such as flooring and countertops, due to its unique color and texture. In addition to its practical uses, Greywack also provides valuable insights into the geological history of the Earth. Geologists study the composition, structure, and distribution of Greywack to better understand the processes that have shaped our planet over millions of years. By analyzing the mineralogy and fossil content of Greywack, scientists can reconstruct ancient environments, track the movement of tectonic plates, and identify the sources of sediment that make up the rock. How is Greywack formed? Greywack is a type of sandstone that forms in deep marine environments, where sediment is rapidly deposited and compacted under the weight of overlying layers. The formation of Greywack involves several key processes that occur over millions of years. First, the process of erosion breaks down pre-existing rocks into small fragments, such as sand, silt, and clay. These fragments are transported by rivers and ocean currents to offshore basins and submarine fans, where they are deposited in thick layers. The sedimentation process can be rapid, with layers accumulating at rates of several meters per thousand years. As the sediment accumulates, it undergoes compaction, which compresses the grains together and reduces the amount of pore space between them. This process is facilitated by the weight of overlying layers of sediment, which can be several kilometers thick in deep marine environments. Compaction also expels any fluids, such as water or gas, that may be trapped between the grains. Over time, the sediment undergoes diagenesis, which is the process of cementation and hardening of the sediment into rock. This occurs when minerals precipitate from groundwater and fill in the pore spaces between the grains. The cementing minerals can be silica, calcite, or other minerals, depending on the composition of the sediment. The final step in the formation of greywack is the uplift and exposure of the rock to the surface. This can occur through tectonic forces, such as the collision of continental plates or the uplift of mountain ranges. Once exposed, the rock is subject to weathering and erosion, which can shape the landscape and reveal the underlying geology. The formation of greywack is a complex process that involves the interaction of many geological factors, including erosion, sedimentation, compaction, cementation, and tectonic forces. The resulting rock is a durable and versatile material that has been used for a wide range of purposes throughout human history. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.